tenant still homeless two months after the apartment fire. It's not funny. It's not funny. It's not funny. Growing now among displaced tenants in East Cleveland, a fire forced them out of their apartments. This was two months ago. They were supposed to move back in, <sighs> in today, but the doors were locked. First of four, many of those residents telling our Casey Tursick, enough, Katie Tursick, enough is enough. We need help. Scarlett Townsend has been homeless for two months. Her East Cleveland Terrace Towers apartment caught on fire in July, and since then, she's been displaced. We still are asked to pay rent. How can we provide for ourselves out here when we don't have anything to but to take care of ourselves with the fire? Excuse me. I'm sorry. Excuse me, I'm sorry. How are you going to have a fire and not be in the place? But allegedly, you got to go ahead and pay the damn rent? What? Child, what? Girl, this don't even make a god sense, child. Where your homeowner's insurance at? You Where your renter's insurance at, I should say? Where your renter's insurance at, child? Finance that we do have. Tenants tell us they were expecting that today was going to be moving day, but that's not the case. And Scarlett has the paperwork to prove it. Exciting news. Tuesday, September 12th, we should be relocating to our residence. Now, we have this one saying that we won't be relocating until, the ninth, relocating until September the 19th. Her fear, it will be winter by the time they get to move in. We only return one time into our unit. She said the fear is that it's going to be winter when she gets to move in. Girl, what? <laughs> I'm confused what's the problem is it me what's the problem Where, what's your renter's insurance look like and that was in the summertime now it's getting chilly and cold so the only clothing we have on our back is still relates to summer gear we haven't been able to return to get any clothing any coats any jackets anything else now we out here being just homeless again. Scarlett among the more than 100 displaced tenants feeling hopeless. We have been trying to get answers. And so have we. I went to RHM Real Estate Group, the owners of Terrace Towers. Their receptionist told me RHM has no comment at this time. Couldn't. Oh, we knew they weren't going to have no comment. <laughs> we knew they weren't going to have no comment, child, but at least y'all child. Mm, mm, mm. Even give me an idea as to when these folks will get to go home. We don't have no transportation out here. We stuck out here. Scarlett and other displaced families are staying at Extended Stay America in North Olmstead. She says this is where RHM put them up, 30 minutes away from East Cleveland. We haven't had any holidays, anything. We have missed out on two holidays that we supposed to share with our family. We haven't seen our families. And How does this stop you from seeing your family? <laughs> What you talking about? She missed out on two holidays. What I'm missing, y'all? What I'm missing? What she talking about? What she talking about? All Scarlett can do is rely on these letters she gets from management. According to the letters, she'll be home in time for the next holiday. But Scarlett isn't so sure about that. In East Cleveland, Kay Tursek, 19 News. Shout out to uh, whatever that girl's name is. I ain't even here. Let me see. Let me see. I hope she gets to go home, but mostly the company may need to shut down and relocate themselves. Always get rental insurance. Okay, so yeah, where's your rental insurance, ma'am? Where your rental's insurance? Uh, this one said, oh yeah, all tenants were provided with free hotel, extended stay America, paid for by the property management company's insurance policy. No tenants are homeless. Very misleading story. Shaking my head. Also, the hotel is free until tenants are given the all clear to move back into their apartments. Be, be, by the way, extended stay hotels are very nice suites. Each has a kitchenette and there is a laundry facility and pool. Child. <laughs> Child, we already know they be playing games, but I'm still trying to understand where the hell is your life? I'm sorry, not your life insurance, your renter's insurance. You rent, you should have insurance and that should go ahead and take care of your stay even if the hotel wasn't, and then you should be able to take care of everything else. Like, why are we on the news right now? I'm confused. Shout out to my girl, Amonize, in the building. <laughs> my girl, Amonize, thank you for the support. She says she is full of BS. 
Y'all, I'm an eyes don't play. Okay. I'm an eyes don't play. Child, I'm scared. This story says Grand Rapid. Oh, no, that's a, well, I'm on the wrong one. This story says tenants take their complaints about unsafe living conditions to DC council members. All right. All right. Well, now we in DC, child. You may recall we first told you about unsafe. You may recall we first told you about unsafe living conditions at a Southeast DC apartment complex over the summer. The district's attorney general asked the court to put the Marbury Plaza in a receivership due to the conditions there. Since then, tenants say very little has made uh, has been done to make things better. The apartment complex is on Good Hope Road Southeast. That's where we find DC News Now's Dave Laval. Come on, Dave. Tenants at Marbury Plaza Apartments behind me will voice their complaints to anyone willing to listen. Anyone willing to listen? Monday, that happened to be district leaders. And boy, did they get an earful. How could my baby go to school when he got dirty clothes? The lack of working washing machines is among the laundry list of complaints Barbara Cooper has living at Marbury Plaza Apartments. How can my baby go to school and be productive mm -hmm. at school uh -huh. when he's worried about laying in his bed That's right. and a gun coming through the window? Right. Cooper, wait a damn minute. Mm -hmm. Wait a damn minute. How a gun coming through the window? Are they going to toss it through the window? What you talking about the gun coming through the window? Now, whose responsibility is it to make sure that their child is in a safe place? I'm sorry. Whose responsibility is it to make sure that their child, yeah, I said their child, is in a safe place? Is it this reporter's problem? Is it the government's problem? Was the government there when you was taking all oh, that pleasure? Was this man here, the reporter dude, when you was taking all oh, that pleasure? I'm confused. I'm confused. Her head's the Tenants Association. She and others voiced their concerns to D.C. Council Chair Phil Mendelson. Shout out to D.C. Coming down walls and tenants have to live, breathe, and... I'm sorry, is that a man or a woman? Believe in that every day, and I guess it's supposed to be acceptable because you know what? We have been treated less than human beings. That's right. Tenants want the district to take... <laughs> That's not funny. That's not funny, child. What is going on right here? <laughs> Stream down. <laughs> I have to take the stream down. What is this? What is going on? <laughs> ah, oh my God! Oh down shit! And tenants have to live, breathe, and sleep in that every day. And <laughs> because you know what? We have been treated less than human beings. That's right. Tenants want the district to take over the apartment complex oh, and use district Lord, Lord. to make the necessary repairs. Oh, oh, oh. Mendelssohn, who's visited the apartment complex, who is the told white man? I'm sorry, who is the white man? Let me back it all up. Who is this white man? Shout out to the white people. Ooh, they got a hole in the wall. It's not funny. Sorry, it's not my fault. Oh, <laughs> it ain't my fault. Did I do that? It ain't my fault. It's not my fault. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. All right. Straighten up. Straighten up, Michonne. Straighten up. Okay. Sorry. 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 All right. All right. Back it on up. Now listen, I don't know what's going on right here. <laughs> I'm sorry. 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 All right. Come on. 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 Less than human beings. That's right. Tenants want the district to take over. Did you see? Did you see his face though? Did y'all see his face? Shot. 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 Who? 
Oh my god. Oh shit. <laughs> Tenants want the uh, district to take over the apartment uh, complex and use uh, district funds to make the necessary repairs. There are things I'm going to try to do to help okay. with the oh, 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 who's visited oh, oh. the apartment complex told tenants mm. he understands mm. their plight. Have they been beyond patient? Mm. The wheels of uh, government are moving much too slowly for them. This dude look like Luigi from the Mario Brothers. <laughs> Luigi, I don't know why I'm thinking of Luigi from the uh, uh from the Mario Brothers uh video game. I'm personally inviting her herself to come. Yo, 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 she got a beard. <laughs> this is the same woman from before. She got a beard. Do y'all see that? I'm sorry, Lord, forgive me, Lord, Lord, Lord. Truth is, I'm tired. Do you see this? Do you see what I see? Do you see what I see? I see. Shout out to Christmas. <laughs> Shout out to Luigi. I'm personally inviting her. You see those hairs? You see it? Come to Marbury <laughs> Plaza. The group also delivered their message to the doorstep of Mayor Muriel Bowser. I'll be getting out of touch with you to let you know. Mm. So I have to wait and see. Mendelssohn said mm. he hopes to have answers to some of the tenants' demands by the end of the week. In Anacostia, Dave Laval, DC News. Anacostia? I don't want to live there. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. I don't want to live there. But what the hell do I know? Anyway, that wasn't the one. Maybe this is it. Maybe this is it. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, no, 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 that's not it. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Yo, let me get it together. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We do not care. 